Interview questions for Enterprise IT. Several of you asked, what kinds of questions should you be prepared for for IT roles? This is going to be a little hard because IT varies so much with the size organization that you're working with and the types of technologies that you're working with within those companies. So I'm going to take the approach of enterprise IT, not small business IT, which can be very different. And because of my background, I'm going to take it from a very Microsoft centric view. Now, some of you will say, what about Linux? What about Mac? Well, the truth is that enterprise IT is still currently dominated by Microsoft. Linux has its place in enterprise IT and Macs have their place in enterprise IT. But from the core administration and the server user rights management, those kinds of things, Microsoft is still the primary software provider. And that's because Office Automation is still based around Microsoft Office. And you can't really run Microsoft Office on Linux in an enterprise environment. And while you can run Microsoft Office on the Mac, most of the people that are running Macs in an enterprise environment are using Parallels or VMware or Boot Camp to operate in Windows for the enterprise-y stuff they need to do and are operating in Mac mode for some of the standalone things that they're doing. So generally what ends up happening is that you have a virtual machine that is connected to the network and has the full functionality of the network and the host operating system lets you run your Final Cut and your graphics design software. Now there's of course varying levels of integration but I have to talk fairly broadly if I'm going to give you pointers that are going to work across a large number of organizations. So don't beat me up in the comments about, oh, you can do this thing, or oh, you can do this thing, or oh, you're a Microsoft lover. Well, yeah, you can do those things, but in the enterprise world, this is how things are mostly going to be done, and they're mostly going to be Microsoft-centric.